All right, well, welcome out to the Timber Frame Build today. We are gonna be talking about the WRB, the weather resistant barrier that we're putting on the outside of this house. We're prepping it right now for windows and siding. We also have the roof prep for the metal roof. So I'm gonna show you the details on that. So let's get looking at the details here. We are using Sega MyVest 500SA. That is a self-adhering membrane on the back. So you're gonna peel this off of here. If you see, we have it already installed on the house here. We have our window details done up. We're gonna go through each step of what we did and what products we used. But this here is a self-adhering membrane. The advantages of that are there's no fasteners that have to go into here. So we're not penetrating this in any way. There's no way that water could get past a fastener or in there or air going in. So this product we specifically chose for this house because it is a SIP panel construction. These are structurally insulated panels. And so they are filled with foam and have OSB on both sides. But the reason we chose this is because it's vapor permeable. Meaning once this goes on the house, moisture cannot go through it, water cannot go through it, but it can come out through it. So we will never trap any moisture in this wall cavity. Moisture is gonna have a really hard time traveling through this wall cavity because of this foam. So if this OSB on the outside of the house is wet when we put it on, it will stay wet. It won't go through unless we use a product like this that allows moisture to come out through it. So what we're doing here is we're gonna peel off the back layer and we are going to adhere it to our wall. So this is our sample wall here. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna stick it to our wall. Now, once you stick it to the wall, it sticks a little bit, but what you have to do is you have to put pressure on this product so it activates the adhesive on the back side. So we're going around and we're rolling this. We're using a, a, different, a couple different tools to press this on the house to get that um, adhesive to stick. Once we have that on there, we're using a bunch of other different products from Sega to make all the other airtight connections. So this is our window here in the corners. They send out these corners that go in and they actually can go on the house like this to make up that corner. So this is a complete corner, no penetrations in this corner. So you can see We've got that on there. First thing here is we are actually taking this uh, MyVest SA and we run it up and over here. We cut it down the sides and then we lay this sill back on here. So on this house, like I was saying, these are structural insulated panels. So the manufacturer actually makes the rough openings for us in the panels. So they pre manufacture these panels, send them out with the rough openings already made. So when we ordered these, we actually ordered these panels to have a half inch bigger rough opening so that we could add this bevel siding, this bevel cedar, cedar siding to these windows to allow for a slope sill. So before we put any of this Sega product on, we came around first and put this beveled siding in these windows, nailed that down and then we wrap the my vest up and over. Then we go about doing our window details where we put the wig glove tape on the corners and then shingle that down. So you can see how we first wrap this, taped it, corners, and taped that. So that makes an airtight barrier around all these windows in preparation for the window to go in. So on this house, we have a couple different situations because there are certain places that we could not use the SIP panel construction. That's because of moment frames and the cost of framing where the, the pool room, it had a lot of windows, so it wasn't cost effective to use the SIP panel construction for that. So we actually have a couple different things going on here where we have Huber zip system coming in contact with the Sega MyVest WRB. So the, the difference here is just the construction method, but you can see around here, we are actually using the zip system stretch tape to make these sill pans. We did the same thing here. We oversized these rough openings and then came back 
and put this bevel cedar siding in here to make a slope sill. So we're going around with stretch tape and we're doing up those in preparation for the windows as well. So the zip system has the same properties where it can permeate the moisture out, but nothing can go back in. So we got a really cool system here going on. Also, you'll notice around the bottom, we seal down to the concrete. So we'll be sealing this uh, zip system down to the concrete as well. But you can see this Fentrum tape that we use here goes around the bottom and seals um, the my vest to the concrete. This stuff is, is super sticky. It's actually amazing how well it sticks to concrete and goes in there. So we have a really nice um, air barrier detail around the bottom of that. So we got that going on as well. Let's walk around the side and I'm gonna show you just a few more places and how we did up some of the details on this house. Let's go over here. So you can also see on these corners where this comes together. When you run a corner with the Sega My Vest, you actually come in and stop the product at both corners. And then they have this wig glove tape that goes over the actual corner and makes that joint. So it's really nice because typical house wrap material you'll run over these corners and then you might have like, you know, different turns or however, maybe inside corners where it doesn't fit nice and tight, but you can actually stop this on both sides and have a really nice tight corner. That's one of the reasons we really like the Huber system is because it gives us those nice tight corners and no floppy house wrap. When the siding guys come, they don't just cut that house wrap in the corner to make it tight because it's super nice super tight in those corners. We love that about zip system. Well, we actually gain that same property with the Sega My Vest. So that's a big benefit for us. Also, if you look up here, we have these timbers. So we're actually able to tape this house wrap right up to the timbers so that we don't have any air penetration behind those timbers as well. So we got that detail put on. You can also see up there, we have corners in the tops of the windows in preparation for the window install as well. So really cool product. I was really impressed with this. I love how the details are significant around all the air penetration areas. So you just get great details around every single penetration. When the windows actually go on, we'll show you that as well. We'll go through all the window install show you those Anderson E-Series windows. But when we put that on there, the window flange will go here. And then we actually have another Fentrum tape that will go over that and seal really nice and tight there. So we're really happy with how things are going. Let's walk over here and I'm gonna show you the, the roofing underlayment and the details with that as well. So the last detail we're gonna talk about is the roofing underlayment. This roof is gonna be a 24 gauge standing seam roof. It's gonna be a dark, and dark color roof, it's gonna be about an inch and a half standing seam on each joint. This is a mechanical fastener. We'll show the details of that. But underneath it, we're using a product that's really similar to the Sega MyVest SA, where we're talking about the Vapor Dry SA. Same properties as the Sega product, where this is allowing moisture to come up and out of it, which is also super important on a roof that's made of SIP panels as well, because all those SIP panels come together and there's different connections that are made there and we use a SIP seal uh, glue that goes in there. But if there's any voids or any areas where moisture can get up through there, we want that to be able to come up through those panels and not get caught by our roofing underlayment. If we were to use a product that had no permeability, that the water was not able to come out of it or that moisture is not able to come out of it, then all we're doing is we're trapping that moisture underneath it, which is a big problem with sit panels because it will just rot those panels out. So because those are the structural pieces of this house, it's really important that we take care to make sure all the moisture can come in and out of this product. Meaning it can come in, if it accidentally comes into the panel from below, it can come out through the roof. So this is um, Benjamin Obdike's Vapor Dry SA. It's the same thing like I just talked about with the uh, Sega. It peels off the back and then you can stick that on there as well. So this is rated for high temp, so it's perfect for a metal roofing material. But you can see up above me, we got that detail 
going on here as well. We actually wrapped it around the fascia cover a little bit. And when they put the fascia trim on here, they're actually gonna come and they'll come and put this over top of that as well. So they'll shingle their starter strip or their starter metal of their fascia cover on there as well. So we got some more details going on with that, but that's the first step there is to get this on there. They put it on, rolled it down. A couple things that uh, we had challenges with is when this stuff sticks to itself, it does not come back apart. So if you're working with it and it happens to do this, it is very, very difficult to get it back apart. That came apart right there pretty easy, but when they were using it, if it gets stuck, it is, it is done. Like this actually just starts to rip the product before it actually comes apart. So we had some, we had some issues with that. When you go along, you have to make sure you get it laid down really nice and smooth before you go and try to peel the backer off of it because if you don't, it will ruin the product and you'll have to start over. So that's one of the challenges we had there. A Little bit of a learning curve. This was the first time we used this product on the house on a house so uh, that was one of the learning curves that we had but all in all this product is a great deal um, to put on a house the properties are tremendous that we can achieve the moisture coming up and out through it while also achieving uh, high temps for metal roofing so we really like this we'll probably keep using it on houses where we have metal roof situations especially on the sit panel roof situation well Thanks for coming out. I'm so glad that you're going through these details with us. If you got any questions, put them down below. We'd love to answer your questions and, and keep conversation going around how we can improve our weather barriers on the outside of houses. And if you got any questions on how we installed this and some of the steps that we took, we'll show some videos of the install and how that all went. Um, but we're really happy with it. And thanks for coming out and we'll catch you on the next one.